just up ahead we've unearthed something absolutely extraordinary you can see you've got a huge ammonite fossil right there and another mysterious piece of limestone just next to it Shea, come and have a look at this oh look at that this undoubtedly is going to be one of the biggest ammonites of the day this is exceptional i can't wait to excavate this do you have the tools there ready sure do there you go oh look at that it's formed a big crack all the way through hasn't it oh it's oh. complete as well <laughs> oh. really don't come much better than that do they that is something special. So we've got that there. Now let's excavate this one too. Oh, there's something else further down, look. Oh. This part of the sea floor must have been covered in fossils 180 million years ago. We're almost there. Who knows what else is going to be inside this? Oh, Whoa. there we go. There's that other nodule. What do you reckon? Is that going to contain anything? Oh, I think it's guaranteed to have one in. Oh, Whoa. look at that. That's the other one. Oh my Whoa. goodness. Look at the quality of that outer edge. They really don't get much better than that, do they, Aaron? It's really something incredible to find these all near each other. Just continuing to have a look about. Oh, there's a perfect uh, little squid fossil down there. It's a little bit small though, but it's quite nice. Right there. Oh, I've just spotted something here. It's the edge of a Hildoceros ammonite right there. Get a look at that. I'll call Shea over and we'll excavate it. I've spotted something over here. What you found? Just there we've got a Hildoceros ammonite just appearing from the edge of this shale. Oh wow, that one looks cool, isn't it? Yeah, do you mind excavating this one? I'll, I'll let you have a bit of the fun this time. Yeah, sure. I'll try and split it along this plane and hopefully there'll be something else inside as well. There we go, that's got it. Quite a few big slabs here. Oh, that's Whoa! Cool. That. It's a Hildoceros and a Dactyloceros. That is really unusual to have two different species side by side. Fossilised squid impression as well. I wonder if this ammonite's three dimensional or if it's completely crushed like the ammonite next to it. I think we'll have to do a little bit more digging first before we know. There we go, the Hildoceros is loose. Whoa! See if we can wiggle that out. There we go. You can see there the Dactyloceros ammonite is only partly preserved, so I'm presuming the Hildoceros will be as well. So let's flip it over and have a look. Oh, look at that. That's really nice. That is really nice. You can see there that the middle is shale preserved. So unfortunately, during preservation, the center must not have been filled with sediment and it's crushed on itself. Well pleased with that one. Yeah. On to the next find. Oh, there's a nice nodule here. It's a nice big chunky one, isn't yeah. it? Oh, there's, surely there's a nice ammonite inside that one. I imagine it'll pop out rather easily, just like that. It's almost as big as those nodules we found earlier. Yeah, it's going to be so exciting to reveal what's inside all of those. Brilliant. And actually, just come with me a second. I found something as well. Right there. Oh, look at that. Looks brilliant. There's one just behind you as well. Oh, yeah. You see, there's one squid fossil here, and just the head, there's another one. This is so crisp. You can actually see where this fossil has snapped off this piece. Do you mind just lifting that bit of shale and we'll have a look? I was just about to say, I'll reveal this one and you can reveal the other one. <laughs> Absolutely. I actually think the vellum knife fossil might be loose. Oh, and it is come out of one piece as well. The tip is absolutely perfect, nice and sharp. You're gonna get the other one out now so we can compare them. There's the tools. I can already see the end of this one has broken off. Oh, it looks like this one might have come out in one piece as well. It has. Oh, <laughs> that's that's, that's really work. cool. The end piece is worn off. But with this one, different to the other, 
There's actually some of the fragma corn still intact. Oh wow, look at that. This is exceptionally oh, well preserved wow. as well. It's really cool how it's just come out like that. <laughs> it's very unusual. Here's the other one for comparison. Two very similar, but also very different squid fossils. Let's get started and open them up. Let's get the tools out the bag and get cracking. Got a couple of new hammers here to try today. They look pretty fancy, but we'll soon see whether they're gonna do the job just as well as our other hammers. I've got the other ones just in case as well. We'll use these, but we'll also use the bigger hammer and chisel to split some of the larger nodules as well. I'm really excited to give these a try. This is going to be seriously exciting. I'm really excited to try some of these nodules. Let's get straight into it. Yeah? I mean, there's definitely a really nice ammonite in there, isn't there? Let's see if we can be the first people in 180 million years to see what this fossil looks like. I actually think this could be a good one to use the hammer and chisel. Hey, there Whoa. we go. That sounded like a nice split. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> That's an amazing one, isn't it? Look at all the gold pyrite on that one. The pyrite in the shell is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that one. Why don't we try this pseudo Lyosaurus that we found earlier? So the fossil itself, it doesn't look like it's complete, but it's just gonna be interesting to see what else is in the rock. We've started to reveal a little bit of the ammonite there. You can see there, it looks like it's just been a partial specimen. Like we said earlier, it looks like it had been quite crushed. Not too bad though, still interesting to see. Let's try another one. And it looks like this one's been empty. Just the way it goes sometimes though. Oh, another empty one. These are proving a lot more tricky than we initially expected. Well, we've got a split. Are we actually going to have something this time? Hey, and there has been one inside. It's revealed some lovely calcification on this one as well. Very nice. Next up, let's try one of these bigger ammonites that we found. If you remember earlier on, we found a few all within the same lump of shale, and this is the biggest, most promising one of them all. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Well, we tried our best with this one. However, it's just not opening up. It's a little bit too thin. The limestone isn't thick enough. This will be one we take home to have prepared in the workshop. Next up, let's try this nodule here. The ammonite is quite rotten, but there's a chance that it'll open nicely. Might as well give it a go. Oh, there we go. The ammonite started to be revealed there. There we go. Now I really didn't expect this one to split, but Aaron said to give it a go anyway. And to our surprise, I actually think it's probably split quite well judging by the crack that's formed. So let's have a look inside. Oh, <laughs> and it is an absolute beauty. I take it back, Aaron, you were right. It's a really nice one and it's split open perfectly. For a nodule that was so rotten, I did not expect an ammonite of this quality to be hiding within. <laughs> what an awesome find. While we've been splitting open those nodules, our friend has been having a little look in the fall as well and managed to find these four nodules. Some of them actually look really nice and he's let us split them on camera. So let's see if we can get something out of these. Looks like there's some really nice ones there. Well, we have a split. Oh, wow, look at all the calcite on that one. It's ridiculous how much calcite there is in there. Look at that. So shiny, all that lovely white calcite. 
Although the fossil specimen itself isn't perfect, it's worth keeping just because of that beautiful calcification within the ammonite chambers. We have a split, so let's look inside. Oh, oh look how golden a, that one is. That's amazing. And just layer that with the other ones. Well, that was a very satisfying split, I must say. <laughs> and another. That's a monster, that one, isn't it? It does look like the biggest one of the day. I'm so glad Shane let us split these ones on camera because some of them are really nice. Much better than the ones that we found. I must admit they are a lot better. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Oh, and part of the fossil has been revealed. Looks like it's going to be another stunning ammonite. I think with this one, it'd be a shame to try it anymore and potentially break it. So I think we should take that one as it is. Looks like it's a pretty nice one, doesn't it, Aaron? Really does. Last but not least, this is the final nodule that we're going to be opening today. There we are, we've got a split. It looks like it's split quite well. Hey, oh, it's another perfect one. We really can't complain with some of the splits that we've had today. Lots of the nodules have had nothing inside, but the ones that have had fossils inside have split open really nice. Here's our final haul of ammonite fossils. Of course, we also had those squid fossils earlier on as well. From this fresh landslide, we've had an awesome day today, and no doubtedly in the coming tides, it will reveal so many more fossils too. I wonder what else is hiding deep within the landslide. That's all our finds from today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.